Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Lalilulalo, lalilulalo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. My hero over there is dead, killed with a bat, presumably. Um, hmm. We just found out that there's a window in the shower room that can be traversed through. Let's investigate some of these. I see some questionable items in the trash can. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Why don't you dig under the tr- <laughs> Now, <laughs> Hajime said it isn't a truth bullet, but it's a truth bullet. Uh, how about you check that again? Okay. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. What? Let me just do this a few more times, make sure I have literally everything I can find. That looks like literally everything. Alright, let's talk to people. How suspicious. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier. They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Ah. Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach, beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because my hero's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Peko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. <sighs> Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then, who's fo whose footprints are these? What was that noise? It appears... It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who might that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Can we measure them by any means? Is that possible? It might be Hyoko's. Um, I guess I've finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should have tried investigating that again to find out why my hero got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from Metal Bat. Metal Bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That... There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually... This game theme is a missing link. Okay. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um... Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it for yourself. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chucky leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Is it Fuyuhiko? 
Is it, is it someone else? Ah. Hello there. Who let you loose? Okay, you're immediately an integral part of this case because someone let you loose without consulting with everybody else. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nakito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well... There's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently my hero got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible, and someone's been keeping you in the loop! She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed... If only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiro, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Mm. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual he's acting so crazy he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about my hero? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know? Monomi. It's Monomi! Yes, it was me! Why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um... Did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along. And, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. Now, why did Monomi untie Nagito at this specific point? Well, not immediately now, but before this this all occurred. When did they, exactly she let him loose? Yes. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But... Now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for my hero, right? That's right! That's why everyone was, must work together and have Monokuma... Enough! Enough already! Just go away already! <laughs> Understood. Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man... Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's no, really no reason for me to be here. So you're already educated. About motives, about killers. How long ago did you experience this true ending? Do you know every secret of that game? Are you just going to hide in the shadows? True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful, in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer? Or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. Oh boy. Oh boy. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hajime, let's just move on to start the game. You're right. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Wait a minute. If different people play the game, do they each get a save file, or does it continue from where the last person left? I'm curious about this design. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there is a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well... When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Wait a minute. The drinks in the trash can. Did someone actually think that you had to down five drinks? So... Then the hidden command is... Yep. 
you just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with the, being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. I need to press down five times on the, on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the new door to the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press down five times with your own hands. The screen changed. She was right. Now how does that work on a keyboard? Do you use arrow keys? Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome murder case is truth edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Let's begin Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press the start button. You actually need to press the start button. You can't just press A or B. Um, we begin with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. But based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was worth of a pervert who stuck in okay. Students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident. Tried to hide the fact. One of the five girls, girl E, was murdered by someone several days after the incident. What in the world happened? By playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. This seems a bit easy to understand this whole murder scenario just by playing this game. It seems specifically engineered so that Chiaki finds all the answers. Let's start with the first day, when it all began. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Geez, we're gonna go home late because we had to slope wait for Slopo Girl A. Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. <laughs> Is that supposed to be my hero? People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Okay, so girl B is Hiyoko. I should write this down, actually. Oh, God. S stuck on wires. Ah! Who took the picture? Can I look at the transcript? Damn it. I can't look at the transcript. Uh. B equals Hiyoko. Because she's a trash talker. The word girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect her get sick to their stomachs. That sense of humor reminds me of Ibuki. Question mark, because I'm not sure. Is girl E here yet? Apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Girl D was the one who took the picture, right? So she's... My hero. No wait, it was girl E who was killed. Right? Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe got stolen. Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. You should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. It's fun to bully girl A. No bully. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. Sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. God, this running animation is so bad. Girly, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. Is this simulating, like, the Mahiru's body discovery? You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? If we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open the door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. 
The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key, nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Let's open it right away. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Me? Wait a minute. Girl A is stuttering. Girl A must be Mikan. Right? Question mark? What? Oh, I have to actually go in the door. Hey, there was a music room in Danganronpa 1. Someone's laying on the floor. She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible, why? Kya! Lower your voice, they might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Maybe I'm misinterpreting this. Maybe, like, these girls are not meant to represent the actual characters. But hey, that's the most likely possibility in my mind. I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? Th the window they jumped out of? Ah, the window's broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. This is the second floor, though. Oh, right, it's simulating the, the nine-foot height of the... Mm, yes. Okay, so the killer did escape through the window. Someone else escaped through a door, so two people were definitely involved in this murder. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? Wait a minute. This is the first day, this is not the, f the fifth day, or the fourth day, when the, ki the girl was killed by the bat. But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They didn't know it was... They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. This is the still the f the the first day. Broken fish tank. What? My like my drop I'm dropping my pen, I'm sorry. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. Is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from inside the music room or lose the, use the lounge key. It was in the teacher's lounge, so the killer wouldn't have time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the killer, the, the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. To get outside of the music room, they'd have they need to pass by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by, which means the killer's only escape route was this window. So what I'm gathering from this is that the window in the beach house was used as an escape route. And maybe the accomplice cleaned up the, the step stool or the method to reach that window and then left through the other door. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Sonia was wearing a wetsuit. Which she got from the closet, apparently, or evidently. Then the pervert who stole girl E's swim school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. Go straight to rape, alright. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Is girl E supposed to be Hyoko? I mean, I mean, Mahiru? Because Gurley is the one that gets murdered with the bat. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. That's bad, uber bad, we better hurry up and run. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Girl C is supposed to be Ibuki. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. What's wrong with your police? God. Maybe best we just left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Please wait, don't leave me. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to be here. Didn't, don't you tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. What happened? I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home, and I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? That sound we've heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? So either Girl D or Girl E is, is, is um, Mahiru, but I don't know which it is. If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, Girl E? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not, that's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you didn't say anything either. I knew, you know? I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you, she was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? Okay, so girl E is my hero. Wait, no, girl... Fuck. <laughs> D is my hero. So who's E? We got A is Mikan, B is Hyoko, C is Ibuki, D is Mahiru. Who's E? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she was supposed to be your best friend. If you told me this, told me none of this would have happened. They don't necessarily have to be girls, right? These girls can represent guys too, so maybe one of these people is Nagito. Girlie, don't tell me you- That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. Wait, family influence? Is she referring to Byakuya? But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... What about Fuyuhiko? He hasn't shown up yet. I felt a sudden rage and before I knew it I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would've been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault. Girlie! What? That bitch, Girlie, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass. Was it actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to go ask her a few questions. If that bitch really did that. I will never... I will never forgive her. I see... Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Now that you've filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chiaki, what did you think of the characters in this game? Um... You mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense and they don't have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. See? While you were talking, looks like the ending staff credits... staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps... You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll. Is it going to show the cast? Tsumiki, Koizumi, Hiyoko, Miyoda, Sato. 
Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu. Sato, Sato. Mm, who's Sato? So Guy F is um, what's his name? Fuyuhiko. Fuyu, he. I can't spell. I'm an English major. Okay. Wait, just now. See? Didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay, congrats! Miracle, congratulations! You have finally beaten P Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. Ta-da! That's right, that game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way... Non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my answer my question. Here. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. Yeah. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for cleaning the game, yeah. I won't give it to you. Ending prize? <laughs> There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Mm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too, so Nagito got the ending prize, and he knows something. Aww. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Why are there seven spaces on the top of that envelope? But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time, too. But is it really... Is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps... Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I may be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right, if I get some information from them, I might be able to find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. Then let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and, ask, and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand there. Alright, let's go. Who's Sato? Hello there. Hajime and Chiaki, we meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Man. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well... There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appear in the Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. I feel like I've been going for a long, long time, so I think I'm going to stop it there. Thank you very much for watching. That was Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. The investigation is still in progress. Danganronpa 2 is available on Steam and the Vita for $30. Please pick it up if you can. It's fantastic so far. I'm only on Chapter 2, but mm, it's well worth the price of admission. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.